Listen to me, Danny. Listen. Just do it. You have to stay and fight for what you want. Michelle is what you want. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't. If you, you run don't. away, Mother will take everything away from you. I can't listen to one of your sermons without a drink. So. Because you don't care enough that it doesn't really matter to you. That the guy I looked up to when I was little, practically worshipped, just doesn't exist anymore. I have to go clear some tables. I'm beginning to think this is a good idea, Ben. Well, that's what you pay me for. You're in my way, Mother. Look at you. You can wait on tables. You can play these games. But it's going to end. You'll come back to me. You'll come back home where you belong. Is this woman harassing you, Pilar? Yes. That's her problem. No, no. No, Danny, not at all. But I am worried about you. Yeah, you're worried that I might cause problems for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe if you listen to... Oh, your... it's the new mouthpiece earning his retainer. <laughs> Is it unreasonable? Ah, la, 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 la. Spare me the legal jargon, counselor. I see you have been drinking. Do you have something to say to me? Say it. Danny, I realize that life has been difficult for you here in Spring. Difficult? Difficult. A lot has happened. Get to the point. I've got a date with a margarita. No salt to be on the line. I've been in contact with your uncle Federico out west. He can use you right away. And I think you could use a change of scenery as well. Don't listen to her, Daddy. Don't do it. Don't listen to her. I am really sorry if you think I've crossed a line with you. But I love you so much. Oh, I know. I want the best for you. Of course you do. Abby, I, you did not cross a line. You could never be at all. Oh, I think all. I might have gone on, over the edge just a little bit. <laughs> But I just think that your problem is that you want everything resolved immediately, one way or another. So how patient am I supposed to be? That depends on how bad you want it. But things have a way of working themselves out in their own time, and you have time. Do I? Danny will still be here. can't let this happen. You can't. Well, you mean Tio Federico? No, I mean Mother. Keeping you under her thumb. Sending you away out west is her way of doing that. Don't you see it's going to drag you back in? She wants you under her claws. This is the time for you to make a stand. Break free. You go after Michelle, Danny. I have considered your offer, and I will go out west to help Uncle Federico. I'm so pleased, Danny. Don't be. On one condition. What? I will go if you leave Pilar alone. I don't understand. Yes, you do. You understand perfectly. Don't mess with me. She is to live where she wants See who she wants. Be whoever she wants. In other words, she is to be free to live her life. Deal? All right. You better stick to it, mother. Because if you don't, you're going to have a very, very angry son on your hands, and you won't like that. You won't like that at all. Hey. Oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> Long time no see. Yes, I know. Ooh. My fault about that. Sorry. That's all right. So what's up? You haven't uh, gone and got married on me again while I wasn't looking, have you? Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> 
Okay, bad joke. I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I really am sorry. I know uh, you and Danny, what all you guys went through was really rough. Yeah, it was. But it's over, right? It's time to move on. Okay. Move on. Okay. So what do you want to talk to me about? College. I'm coming back. That's great. Yes, I know, I know. It's, it's very good. Um, <clears throat> I just missed so many classes that I really am going to need your help with getting back on track. So, what up to your eye, Bill? Oh, uh, hoops? yeah, um, I was playing shooting hoops, took an elbow. Hey. No big deal. Sure? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but you, uh, going back to school, that, that is a big deal. That's great. Yeah. Uh, you've been talking about being a doctor since you were a baby. I know, and... I'm really glad to be getting my life back on track because cause I lost everything that I cared about when I got involved with Danny. I really did, you know? And I'm just glad that's behind me and I'm glad that Danny and I are finished so now I can get on with my life. Thanks for lugging that bookshelf oh, yeah. up all those stairs. Yeah. I couldn't have done it by myself. Well, I still gotta hang this puppy. Can't leave town till I'm sure you're settled in a new place, in your new life. Danny, I'm gonna miss you so much when you're gone. I'm gonna be so lonely here without you. I might as well go back to school. No, no, you know this is the only way the mother will leave you alone. Come on, you deserve a shot at a normal life, a good life. Yeah, but when I think of what it's costing you, I don't guess... understand. I'm happy that you're free. Okay, that means everything to me. Mother's still controlling you, though, making you do things you don't want to do. Try to understand how unhappy that makes me. I, I want to go out west. There's another reason why you're so determined to leave town. I know. It's because you don't trust yourself to be around Michelle. So it's over, huh? You and Danny? Yeah. Yeah, I had this whole movie thing mapped out of my head where my feelings for Danny were going to save him from the life that Carmen had planned for him. And, and we were meant to be together and, and we were going to be together forever and it was going to be for all the right reasons, you know? It sounds like a good movie. You like fantasies. <laughs> so what about uh, Jesse? Well, Jesse's with Drew now. Did you not know that? No, I didn't. But uh, I always knew that there was something going on between those two. Yeah. <laughs> you and everybody else who knew them, except for... Oh, yeah, that, me. Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> but it's all right. I mean, they seem kind of right for each other, so... You sure you're okay with it? As okay as I can be. They, uh... They seem kind of natural together, so I hope they're happy. So that leaves you and... Nobody. I mean, I... I, I, it's, you know, Jesse's gone and Danny's gone. Marriage is over. But it's okay. It's a good thing because now I can concentrate on school. And I can concentrate on being a doctor and saving lives, which is what I wanted to do. You're sure that that's all you want? Well, Billy, you said it yourself, you know. I mean, this is what I've wanted since I was a kid. It's what I've said that I've wanted and dreamed of. Which brings me to why I wanted to see you in the first place. Um... I need to borrow everything that you have from that organic chemistry class that I was never there for. I need your notes, your book, your tests that you saved, anything. I just need to review it all. But that's one of Carmen's guys. What does he, what does he want? What is he doing here? Mm -hmm. Relax, kid. Order from the top. Won't be giving you any more trouble. Michelle, let me Danny explain. has something to do with this. Michelle, wait. Look, sit down. Wait. Look, this had nothing to do with, with Danny, okay? This was his mother. Why would Carmen want to hurt you? Because I told her daughter the truth about the Santos family. I helped Pilar stand up to her mother, which probably wasn't too popular no. of an idea. Look, look. Danny, Danny said he was going to fix things, so I, I guess that's what he did. How did we both get mixed up with these people, Bill? Well, my answer's pretty simple. I happened to run into a pretty girl who needed some help. But I've got a feeling your answer may be a little tougher. 